Now specifically today we are going to focus on the initial consultation which is going to be finding out someone's priorities and why they're there and we're going to start linking priorities towards goals. So we're looking for some data, right? We're going to use the in-body machine towards the end of the session. So we're going to go over body, we're looking for some data on height, weight, lean body mass, fat mass and then BMR. Data doesn't lie. I mean, it, like, you could have a client walking in saying that he wants to deadlift 300 pounds, but you've, you've took him through a bend pattern and he can't touch his toes. Or not, but there's going to be quite a lot of conversation that needs to be happening there. Right? Just starting point, we're looking for a starting point on exercise, nutrition and behaviour. That's going to dictate eventually then the programme that you start yep. designing for them. So our goal is then as a coach is to then tie fitness, how that can support their top priority. So, how we're going to do this team, we're all going to step on the in body. I think it's just going to make life a whole lot easier so we can see how it actually works. Right. Who's standing on first? Yeah! Yep, ready! You've already got that. Redemption! Do you have to be naked? Yeah. Oh yeah. You do. Easy. <laughs> on it, ask to put in the height of the client. 5'11? Yeah. Right, so I'm so like, you set that. I'm 5'10. <laughs> Steve oh, Tindall, what's Steve that? Tindall what's came in here pissing himself. He's like, you'll yeah. never guess what I saw yesterday. Alex Young on his CrossFit Games profile. 190 cm. What a jolt that is, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, his arms. And he's going to not talk and he's going to not move. And he's just going to hang out there until it gives him the results. <laughs> yeah. Done. So then he'll get the results straight to his phone. So Come I on! <laughs> Come on, God! Help me out! 15 points already. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still fat! <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. What were you? What were you? What were you saying? What were you? 15 points <laughs> ever. He's a leader! 14 points! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 44 point. No, 42.2. <laughs> 85.5 kegs. Right. Oh, shit! <laughs> um, like epidemiological studies on people that are slightly overweight are more healthy than those that are underweight. Having a slightly higher body fat percentage isn't necessarily the worst thing. Of yeah. what the, I think what we should focus on is improving skeletal muscle mass rather than necessarily flat out just trying to full body recomp and get them yeah try to like if that's their goal and they want to be leaner to look better naked then obviously that's something that we want to go for but they don't need to have a d like a general population don't need to have a d shape in my opinion anyway like as long as they're active they're reducing that they'll be reducing their level of visceral fat mm. and subcutaneous fat isn't necessarily as damaging or yeah. isn't well, it isn't as damaging yeah nice i would just echo that and say that from a hormonal standpoint, our body actually carrying a little bit more fat is actually a better place for us to be in, especially with females. Um, you know, a, a female who is too lean is gonna have a lot of their hormonal system down regulated and that's got way, way bigger issues down the line. So I think you would like to start incorporating into your clients. I think it depends. Like, yeah. I know some of my clients will be like so into just the numbers and then they forgot everything else. Yeah. And then I think the psychological effect is huge to a person who's chasing for numbers. Yeah. So it's really dependent. You have to have a conversation with them. Yeah. This is how we warm up at Coastal Fitness. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey guys, I am Ant Haynes. I'm here as part of the process programming team. I will be programming the gymnastics accessory work, up the endurance accessory work. Team, my name is Alex Younger. Welcome to the Ollie Accessory Program. My name's Ed Haynes, and I'm going to be writing the functional bodybuilding accessory track for the Live Perform Compete program. One take only. One take only. <laughs> 
Hey guys, my name is Liam Carmichael and along with the Process Programming crew, I will be programming the Aerobic Build sessions. My name's Paddy and I'm from the UK. I love helping people get better, be the best version of themselves that they can be and seeing their progress. On the Process Programming, does everyone know how to create a post? Yeah, it's essentially marketing. Every time we put a post out, they get it as well. I think that's oh, kind of cool that we're putting all this education as a program. I might want to be a part of that. We'll have being like an organized <coughs> system that a new subscriber can just, it's kind of like this library of information. And then you know, there's your face, there's your name, posting these articles and blogs. It's just, you know, it's only just going to add to the credibility you have as coaches. So if this is ever going to grow to where we want it to be, that's how it has to be. It has to be a collaboration where we're all pitching in, all bringing things to the table, all bringing new fresh ideas like the aerobic build session, and then just doing it. And this will be, it could be six months, could be a year, could be two years, but there will be a process programming team of people who just want to you know, be helping to grow this online community. And I think eventually, like, we're going to have two big teams. You're going to have a coastal fitness team but we're actually in here practically working with people one-on-one, -on -one, coaching group classes. And eventually I want this thing to be so big that it's gonna need its own set of coaches as well doing it. So, you know, this is just very, very early days of something I know is gonna be big and gonna be really, really special. And lifestyle, sleep. There was a lot of things exposed. Some things I knew, but I would say the vast majority, I probably underappreciated. So revealing, I think, is the only way to describe it. I'm liking the lower intensity, uh, but I think the really interesting part is the, is the new accessory additions. Um, so for instance, uh, relating that to your previous question, uh, for me, the, the open was really revealing in terms of like how far I am on, on endurance. Right. And you know, no matter what I build on top of the foundation's week, then I can't really make progress. So endurance is my is, is what I want to add, and the accessory work I intend on doing it. Uh, but it's been a challenge from the perspective that you're trying to just sque squeeze in a lot of things. So we'll find out. I think once we get to steady state, so a few weeks in, I'll be able to give a more real answer. <laughs> Yeah, really good.